Yes, my daughter, she's an amazingly wise woman. And that is her own merit. She has lived a, a very interesting life so far. She lived 12 years in Spain and she learned a lot of things there. And of course, I mean, when you go to different countries, your brain grows in different ways. You learn life facts that you wouldn't learn in your own little town if you stay there all the time. I mean, in your own little town, you will be a wise person someday out of the things you learn from your interactions with other people. But gosh, does that explode when you go to different places. So she has had a very interesting life. She, as I say, she lived 12 years in Spain. She's uh, twice a chef because she has learned in two different schools. She was trained in two different schools. She has done so many things, but sometimes wisdom does not come from the things you learn, from the things you are exposed to. Yes, and how you put two plus two together. One of her most amazing attributes is the kind of mother she has become. She lives and dies for those kids. And I don't mean uh, sacrificing things and working like a dog, like I used to. Um, no, she actually lives life through her kids. Meaning, when they are playing or experiencing something new, if you look at her, she is them. She's there with them and she enjoys and smiles and laughs out of what they are experiencing. She enjoys their joy. It's beautiful to see. It's such a beautiful thing to see. And the kids, they are the poster child of uh, kids that are really loved and well taken care of and growing in a happy, happy, happy home, they, I, I, I cannot imagine how meaningful their lives are going to be because of her love. It's, it's amazing. But you know how I have been fighting these blues for several days now? It's December kills me every year. And this year, since I am in pain and I'm stuck here in Parump, it has been a little bit more difficult. Uh, yesterday I had my x-rays and uh, now this upcoming week, I was hoping I was going to be able to leave, but eh, I th I'm thinking I'm going to wait a few more days so I can have my chiropractor crack my back. So when I leave, I feel so much better. I hope so. So yeah, I'm still stuck here in Pramp. And it's okay. I mean, I am in a, in a very quiet little part of VLM in front of Mount Charleston, my happy place. So I have to, I have to go through this. But since I have been fighting my blues these past week, she said, Mom, it's okay to be sad sometimes, it's okay, but please remember you are living many people's dream. You are free. You are free to roam. You are doing what you wanted to do. You are a nomad, a full-time nomad. And uh, cheer up. And again, she blew up my mind. It's, she's so wise. And it's true. It's true. Sometimes we are so set on the teeny little things uh, the day brings 
that we forget to look at the macro, the big picture, and uh, shush, I forgot. I forgot that I am a happy person. I forgot that I am doing what I love, which is being a nomad, a full-time nomad. Not easy, absolutely not easy. You feel lonely sometimes, but you make so many friends and, and you go see beautiful places and you learn what it feels like to be in the desert uh, with beautiful days or rainy days or that smell like creosote, which is amazing. Um, all the many experiences you don't get when you are in a home which is what I didn't want anymore. That is why I left. But yes, I needed my daughter to shake me a little bit to start feeling better because she is that wise. And it's funny, I mean, the kids, you can tell they are living that happiness of having a very stable mother. Um, Leon, he is competing in international at this point, swimming competitions. So every day of the week he goes practice and he's a swimmer and he loves it. And he wins almost all the competitions he participates in. Inti, he practices karate and he is good at what he does and you can see ta, 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 his determination and both of them love what they are doing and uh, winning competitions and medals and trophies is just part of the deal they love what they are doing and that mother she comes from work she takes them to all those activities waits for them, bring them back home. And if they are having a, some sort of something during the weekend, um, she bakes pies and cakes and things for the potlucks, for the different groups, the karate or the swimming group. Uh, so she brings things and she helps organize those events. I mean, she's totally invested in having them grow as happy, fulfilled adults that they will be someday. And uh, I, I cannot stop smiling when I think of them because what a different childhood from the one I had. I, I had to pull myself up every day because my mother was extremely abusive. And I was never motivated by, hey, I love what you're doing, I love you. I never had that, never, ever, ever, not even once. So when I see how beautiful life has happened, for us as a family, I came from a horribly disruptive childhood. I built myself up, kind of, sort of, eh, sometimes, blah. My kids had tough experiences themselves because, of course, I was not prepared for life, so my my marriage fell apart and they suffered that. But I guess somehow they know they have been always deeply loved. I hope so. I hope they get that idea. Because they have turned the whole thing around and my daughter is doing magic with those kids. So... I go back to a video I made a couple of years ago about counting our blessings. And I want to ask you to please count your blessings. I have this amazing YouTube family that I cherish. 
I, I love you guys. And I have that wise woman shaking me and telling me, Hey, mom, you're living a dream. Cheer up. Or as someone said recently, chin up. Uh, I am so grateful. I am so grateful. So thank you. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you, my daughter, for being the wise woman you are. Let me know who is wise in your life. Who picks you up when you fall? Who helps you remember that life is very good, actually? So let's do this together. Let's pick ourselves up from down there because we don't need to be down there. We can be happy by just remembering that there is a reason to smile. So again, thank you so much for being in my life and thank you for making me smile with each and every one of your comments and uh, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Please give me a thumbs up if you feel like it, if you like if you liked this, if you got anything of value that made you reflect on your blessings, give me a thumbs up. Come on, we can do it. And uh, share this video with someone that may be having the blues and that don't, someone that doesn't see their blessings. Hopefully we are going to inspire them. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being amazing. I love you. Take care. See you soon.